To place a call, pick up the handset and dial the number. If a headset is connected to your device, press the headset button and dial the number to place the call. You can also place a call by inputting the valid 10-digit number and pressing the call soft key or speakerphone button. To answer an incoming call, pick up the handset. You can also press the answer soft key button or the speakerphone button. To decline an incoming call, press the decline soft key button. The incoming call will divert to voicemail or to your call forward no answer destination number immediately. To answer an incoming call while on an active call, press the answer soft key. Your active call will automatically be placed on hold. To decline the incoming call, press the decline soft key. The incoming call will divert to voicemail or your call forward no answer destination number. If you have more than one active call on your phone, use the navigation keys to scroll up and down to view call information and use the line button to switch between calls. This action will put active calls on hold automatically. The phone never hangs up on a call. To place an active call on hold, press the hold button or the hold soft key. Your caller is placed on hold. To retrieve a call that's been placed on hold, either press hold, press the resume soft key button, or press the line button where the call is being held. This is indicated by the red flashing light. To talk privately about a call before transferring, while on an active call, press the transfer button or transfer soft key. Enter the phone number and press the call soft key. The first call will be automatically placed on hold and the destination party's phone will ring. When the destination party answers, you can talk privately about the call before transferring. To complete the transfer, press the transfer button or transfer soft key again. If the called person does not answer or cannot accept the transferred call, press the end call soft key button. Press the resume soft key button to return to your original call. To transfer a call directly to another user's voicemail without ringing their phone, while on an active call, press the more soft key, then press the blind transfer soft key. Dial star 55, followed by the extension you would like to transfer the call to. This completes the transfer to voicemail. To transfer a call to another person without talking to them privately about the caller beforehand, while on an active call, press the more soft key. Then press the transfer soft key. Enter the phone number and press the call soft key to complete the transfer. To initiate an N-Way call, while on an active call, press the More soft key followed by the Conference soft key. Enter the desired extension or phone number and press the Call soft key. When the number called answers, press Conference again to connect the three-way call. To end an N-Way call, hang up the phone or press the End Call soft key. Use call forward all to divert all incoming calls to another phone number. Often, the other phone number is your cell phone, so you don't miss a call while you're away from your main work area. To enable call forwarding, press the forward soft key. Select your forwarding option from the list presented. Press select. Enter a number that you would like the call forwarded to in the second forward all field. Please note, if this is your first time setting this up, press the up navigation arrow to the first forward all. Press set to enable. The display shows that the line is forwarded to that destination number. Do not disturb prevents calls from ringing your phone. 
To enable Do Not Disturb, press the More Soft key, and then press the Do Not Disturb Soft key. Please note, when Do Not Disturb is enabled, all incoming calls will be diverted to voicemail or to your call forward no answer destination number. To disable Do Not Disturb, press the Do Not Disturb Soft key again. If you have a voicemail service, follow these instructions to set it up. Call your voice portal or press the Messages button. Enter your mailbox ID followed by the pound key. Proceed to enter your passcode. Note, your passcode is usually a six-digit number followed by the pound key. The prompt for the voicemail menu options will begin. Press 1 to access your voicemail box. Call Park is a shared hold that allows you to park a call on one phone and retrieve it on another phone. For example, if you receive a call from a customer with a question about their archived file, you can park the call and retrieve the call from the file room phone to answer their account questions. To park a call, press the transfer soft key and enter star 68 and press call. Press the pound key to signal the prompt. Enter the extension where you would like to park that call against or press the pound key to park the call against your own extension. To retrieve a parked call from any phone, press the More Soft key. Then press the Pick Up Soft key. The 8861 has a number of physical and virtual accessory ports. USB fast charging USB, key expansion module power port, Wi-Fi radio, Bluetooth radio. The Cisco IP phones 8845, 8851, 8861, and 8865 come with a built-in Bluetooth radio. Bluetooth is used for headsets. You can pair and connect the same headset that you use for your smartphone or tablet. Bluetooth is better for isolated work areas or for talking hands-free in your car. Bluetooth as a technology is not recommended for crowded work areas like a busy office. In a busy office, decked headsets are preferred technology. Cisco desk phones are compatible with decked headsets that come with their own radio base stations and cables to connect to the Cisco IP phone. There is a fast charging universal serial bus port on the back of the Cisco IP phone 8861 and 8865 only. This port can also be used for headsets and other supported USB accessories. The fast charging USB port charges a smartphone or tablet as fast as if it were plugged directly into a wall power socket. Next to the USB port on the right-hand side of the Cisco IP phones 8851, 8861, and 8865, there is a custom-built power port for key expansion modules. Ask your provider about available key expansion modules for your phone. There is a universal serial bus port on the right-hand side of the phone. This is intended for use with a key expansion module, but it can also be used for connecting a USB headset or for charging a small device like a smartphone. The charging time is similar to what you would expect from connecting to a USB port on a laptop computer. Each USB port supports a maximum of five USB devices. Each device connected to the port is included in the maximum device count, including any key expansion modules. For example, your phone can support five USB devices on the side port and five additional standard USB devices on the back port. Many third-party USB products contain more than one USB device and count as more than one device. To access call history for placed, answered, and missed calls, press the Information and Settings button. 
press Recent Calls. From here, you can choose from All Calls, Missed Calls, Received Calls, and Placed Calls. Use the navigation arrows to scroll to your desired list and press the Select Soft key to make your selection. To place a call, scroll to the desired number and press the Call Soft key. The Cisco IP phones 8861 and 8865 have a built-in Wi-Fi radio that can be used as an alternative means to connect to the network if wired Ethernet is not available or not desired. When using the Wi-Fi radio, the phone must be connected to wall power and a Wi-Fi access point must be available nearby to connect the phone to the network. If the phone is connected via Wi-Fi, the PC port on the back of the phone is not usable to connect a laptop to the network. The laptop must connect through its own Wi-Fi radio or through its own wired Ethernet connection. To place a call, pick up the handset and dial the number. If a headset is connected to your device, press the headset button and dial the number to place the call. You can also place a call by inputting the valid 10-digit number and pressing the call soft key or speakerphone button. The navigation cluster is the circular buttons in the middle of your phone. Press up or down to scroll through the options, lists, and menus. Press the center button to select the highlighted item. These are the soft key buttons. They perform the functions that appear directly above them on the display. The soft key functions change to support your current activity. For example, when you're on a call, the soft key functions help you manage that call. Let's take a look at the 8861 function buttons. The lines buttons, soft key buttons, back, messages, information and settings, directories, hang up cancel, hold, transfer, three-way conference, speakerphone, headset, mute, volume control, navigation cluster. If you have a voicemail service, follow these instructions to set it up. Call your voice portal or press the Messages button. Enter your mailbox ID followed by the pound key. Proceed to enter your passcode. Note, your passcode is usually a six-digit number followed by the pound key. The prompt for the voicemail menu options will begin. Press 1 to access your voicemail box. <laughs> <laughs> 